There are a lot of people out there telling you that this will stop hair fall and make your hair grow faster and longer. Is that true? Well, keep on watching because I'm going to set the record straight. Hello and welcome to the world of Craig. Yes, that's me. I'm Craig and this is my channel where we get into all things hair and sometimes a little bit of beauty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Happy New Year, everybody. My first video of 2026. I hope you all had a wonderful festive period and a great new year. Here is to what lies ahead for all of us in this new year. Nice well, yes. Now, this is something you're seeing a lot over the Tinter web, everywhere. Everyone is talking about it. Lots of creators, whether they're hair professionals and work in research and development like me or not. I've been using this product for a long time because I have a very sensitive scalp. It really helps me out. But does it make your hair grow or stop hair fall? How does it work? How do you use it? Well, we're going to get into everything in this video. So how do you use it? Well, it's very straightforward, but you do need to follow instructions. And regardless of what anyone is telling you or what you may think, you need to follow instructions because it is a medicated product. No one on the Tinter web knows better. You follow the instructions on the product. So you would dampen the hair like you would with any shampoo product, apply a small amount to the scalp, and then you would leave it on for three to five minutes. I normally then do every other bit of cleansing that I have to do and then rinse it off and use it every three to four shampoos for four weeks to deal with whatever the issue is, the things we've already talked about. There are people on the internet telling you to do this with it, to do that with it, to do this, you know, to turn around on your, to turn, stand on your head and spin around three times. Don't listen to any of those. Just read the directions to get the best results. It's always best to follow the ingredients, follow the ingredients, the instructions, that's the one. The usage is getting very emotional. It does annoy me when people make up what is effectively not truth <laughs> to try to get clicks or to try to get people to, to get engagement. But the people that formulate these products, this has been around for a long time. The chemists really know what they're doing. Ketoconazole oil is, a, is an ingredient, a medicated ingredient that's been around for a long time. So follow the directions. Then you go on to a maintenance once, whatever it is you're trying to control. I use this probably, I still use it every three to four shampoos, to be honest, because my scalp gets so itchy and so sensitive that it really does help. And we, like I've already said, we will look at the ingredients in a second. So that's how you use it. But how does it work? I'm just gonna add there as well that it's not for daily use, so do not use it every time you shampoo your hair if you're new to it, or if someone tells you to use it every time, don't listen to them. It's not for daily use because it is medicated. So how does it work? Well, ketoconazole, it basically helps to inhibit the enzyme that causes the yeast to grow on the scalp. It's not the nicest thought, is it? But if you think of it of like lots of little Pac-Men, or women or people living on the scalp, then the ketoconazole keeps those under control. That's why you need to use it for a period of time, and that's why you then need to use it as a maintenance treatment once you have got the condition under control. I will say, because I've, I've made, I, I talk about this in a video, I can't remember which short form video it is, but it will be on here, it'll be on all my platforms, I will say that this is not an exfoliant. There seems to be some confusion that this is exfoliating. There are no ingredients, we'll talk about that in a second. There are no ingredients in here that are exfoliating at all. It works by controlling that yeast, that enzyme that makes your body produce, 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 produce. My neighbor's woken up, I apologize if you can hear like thumping up there, goodness me but it works by controlling that, the enzyme that makes that yeast grow. Not an exfoliant at all, although again, it's something that people are saying. Yes, I haven't forgotten, we will be talking about whether it helps hair fall or hair growth in a second, but very briefly, the ingredients. So ketoconazole, as you can see somewhere on the screen, is the main ingredient here, and that's because it's a medicated product so it needs to be in the product to that concentration in order for it to work. 
You've got SLS or a form of SLS, which is a surfactant. You've got the disodium monolaurel ethosulfosinate. That's also another surfactant too. Coconut fatty acids, that's something that will give a certain amount of slip to the hair. Although I will say, this isn't a product for hair, it is for the scalp. So you could shampoo your scalp with this and then shampoo the mid lengths and ends of your hair with another product that you like. This isn't really something that is for hair health, it's for the scalp, obviously. Um, then you've also got, this is not vegan, didn't know that, but you've got hydrolyzed animal collagen, so it's not a vegan product. Then you've got other things that are basically, you've got sodium chloride, so there's salt in here, which can cause some colour fade, although it's, it's a very, very low amount in this product. But, it, you know, if you're dealing with your scalp and you want to get that under control, then obviously you'll just have to forgo the sodium chloride. I do have a video all about sodium chloride. It's used as a preservative and a thickening agent in shampoos. So basically it has quite a simple ingredients list. Right, now this. Now we get to the bit of the video that you have probably come here for. And in a nutshell, does Nizarel help hair falling or your hair to grow? No, it does not. There is no clinical proof, data, evidence to suggest that it does. Even the official line from Nizarel on their website is this. Yes, even they are telling you to seek medical help. Now, it does help with those conditions that we've talked about, which could inhibit hair growth. Of course, if there's a buildup of anything on the scalp, that could inhibit hair being healthy generally. But I have seen creators holding it up and saying, this will make your hair grow. It will not, it will not. Also, if it does make your hair grow or stop hair falling, do you think it would be under £10, under $10? No. Is it a brilliant product? Yes, it's a really good formula. It really helps me and I know it helps a lot of other people when they're using it for those conditions. But the list of conditions that it helps are all on their website. They're very specific. So I would make sure that you are well aware of all of that and you use it as directed. I'll say it one more time. Nizarol does not stop hair fall or make your hair grow. That just leaves me to say, if you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you know exactly what to do. The first video of 2026 of a new year. That's us done. I've got lots of exciting stuff planned for the coming year. So make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the bell to turn on your notifications and you sharing this with your peeps means that more people will see my content. And my channel is all about community. It's all about us. It's all about, you know, the community that's building over here. I just love it so much and I can't get, wait to get stuck into what's coming ahead. Is there anything that you would like to see a video on here on my channel? Please let me know in the comments obviously hair related. Have you used Nizarol? Is it something that you use and you get a good result? I would love to hear from you. It's always fantastic to hear what you have to say in the comments and I reply to everybody. Yes, I still do. I don't know how I do that, but I do. There are playlists. All my videos are broken up into playlists. I do have videos on hair loss serums. They don't work. I have an entire playlist. It's all shop up videos where I take you out shopping to the drugstore. More of those coming in throughout this year as well. It's very cold here in London, hence the chunky jumper. It's minus two. We're at the end. Huge thank you if you've got to the end. You'll take lots of care and I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah.